Today we're striking Yosemite quarters, and the United States Mint uh, has been authorized by Congress to honor each of the states and the territories in Washington, D.C. with a new quarter, which honors the national parks. We call them America the Beautiful Quarters. These are the blanking presses. The Mint buys coils of metal. Those coils are made out of copper and nickel. Each coil weighs about five tons. And we take that metal and we put it into a blanking press. And if you can imagine, a blanking press is like a giant cookie cutter. We punch out the little discs that are called blanks. The blanks, which are run through an upsetting mill to raise their rims, will be stamped into coins by a top quality die. Brian Cassidy is in charge of that. Okay, this is our master hub. Okay, what this is going to do is convert this highly polished die into our work hub, which is then machined down and then hardened. It takes approximately one minute to fill out. We do it nice and slow so that we can fill all the little details. It's not like a regular striking of a coin. Okay, okay now we have our finished product. So that triangular cone portion is just pushed down into the flat. We need to have a cone so that it can fill all these little nooks and crannies in the detail. Longtime Mint employee Arthur Victor shows me how the die is used to press final coins at high speed. Basically, we make sure that, that the coins are coming down the track. They go in here. This is the only die that moves. We call it the reverse. Y'all call it tails. Okay. So the blanks will come in this machine. Right. They get stamped. Right. And they come out in the front. How many uh, coins can this, this make it? This machine, it runs at 750 strokes per minute. It produced 750 coins per minute. We weren't allowed to see the finished coins. They're kept under lock and key. We really do have the best stamp in the world here. They, they are all dedicated to making the, the best coin, the best product possible for the American people. For Wallpop.com, this is Jason Cochran at the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia.